I'm really ashamed because um, a couple of days ago I watched um, A Current Affair. And um, I know you feel so sleazy, don't you? And I was like watching Jennifer Flowers on there, listening to her, her whole side of the story. And I was like, you mean you were dating a married man and he said he loved you and he'd leave his wife and he didn't? God, that never happened before. <laughs> this sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? Um, I know, well, a friend of mine says that Bill Clinton's like power hungry because he only dates beauty pageant contestants. I mean, who's he supposed to date? The girl at the Tasty Freeze? There's some girl going, Mama, you ain't never gonna guess who screwed me last night. The governor. <laughs> and he gave me something sparkly afterwards, too. I escaped eight years ago. Uh, when, this is a true story. When I was in New York less than three months, I stopped the mugging. Uh, probably unwise maneuver even here. And this is exactly what happened. It was on Times Square on a Sunday afternoon, and I see this, like, you know, like, he looks like Johnny Winters, except with needle marks coming towards me. Really junky albino. And he was holding up a giant Scientology poster. And my first thought was, God, I hope he stays with the heroin. <laughs> and, and then I realized he was using the poster to hide the fact that he had his arm down in a little old lady's purse. And the first thing I do is, like, I'm just, you know, three feet away from him. And I go, get out of her purse right now. And he did and came flying at me. And uh, <laughs> these guys on the street pull him away, throw him against the wall. I'm standing there thinking, I've only been in New York for three, three months, and I'm making it a better place than his store. And then the cop gets there, listens to the story. This is true. Comes over to me and goes, is this true what they tell me what you did? Like, yes, officer, it is. If you were my wife, I'd break your neck. <laughs> Why? You don't know if he has a gun or a knife. He's going to slit your throat. Let him steal the old broad purse. It'll keep her out of Midtown where she don't belong. <laughs> um, um, Andy Griffith would fire you so fast. 